Hi guys, welcome back to Zach's food channel. Carbonated milk. I'm not going to be carbonating this milk, however. I'm gonna be carbonating this. This milk. Well, here it is. Hmm. It smells like vanilla for some reason. It, it, it smells like ice cream. Yeah, literally just ice cream. I, hmm. Let's just get ourselves a little spoon. I guess, uh, let's try it. Um, yeah, that's not the most pleasant thing to eat with a spoon. That being said, I, I, I do really, really like this. It tastes like really unique, but let's try it in water. It smells like condensed milk. All right, uh, well, here's the uh, milk. Here we go. It tastes like milk. It's very good, actually. It tastes like a nice skim milk. Oh God. Okay, just let that, just let that simmer. And just gonna go, uh... As you can see, it's totally uh, fizzy. So, um, yeah, this, uh, th this shouldn't be too hard to perfect, really. Let's do that same thing that we just did. Here it is. Carbonated milk. Courtesy of Polar Plunge Seltzer. That's a good seltzer, honestly. This isn't an ad. I, I don't get those. I... Alright, anyways, here's the here's the finished product of carbonated <laughs> carbonated milk. First of all, I'll say that it smells like milk. That is to say, it doesn't smell like much. But yeah, I'm excited for this. Bon appétit. Regular milk? Tastes like milk. This one might just not be stirred as well, but it tastes sweeter and more milky. This step is sweet because milk is basically just sugar when you take all the water out, but this is so much sweeter than this. Non-carbonated stuff. Milk milk. I'm gonna add a little bit more uh, polar plunge to this, just because this tastes so much more milky. All right, well, here we go. Let's try it again. That tastes more like it. That tastes more like it. Well, yeah, actually, this doesn't taste that bad. I'd probably drink this casually. In place of milk, I'd probably drink this, because I don't drink, drink milk all that much. It's kind of weird, it's like milk. It tastes a little bit acidic, because seltzer kind of tastes acidic. Pretty good. This here, uh, Carbonated milk concoction. I'm gonna have to give it a four out of five. A four out of five dish. A three out of three experiment. Because it's actually like not bad. You'd think from all like the soda stream videos that people make on YouTube that they're like it's really bad. It, it's really not. Give it a try yourself. Actually, I've never had dry milk before, so this is like, this step is getting a 5 out of 5, definitely. I'm gonna use this in more stuff. Alright, anyways, thanks for watching. While we're on the topic of, um, milk and carbonation, let me show you my favorite carbonated milk thing. So essentially, you're gonna want to take a little bit of syrup, a little bit of your seltzer, and a little bit of milk. Then you stir it all up, and then you try and drink it. It's good. This is egg cream. Nobody knows about this, I don't think. It's a New Yorkian drink meant to replicate a sort of soda float, but using, like, no soda. Or ice cream. I don't know why I like it so much. And it's just, like, vanilla flavored. So, um... So, yeah, if you've never had a, um an egg cream before, you should uh, go to uh, New York and get one. They, they, you only find them in Brooklyn, actually. They're, the, the, the I, I, they don't, they don't, they don't sell them in Manhattan. 
So go to Brooklyn and get yourself. There's no risk, no risk of salmonella either. Bye bye.